It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. First thing I gotta say is like, I think I realized through this movie is that I've been watching too much action and things because this movie was so sophisticated and smart. I'm like, I become dumb by watching some other stuff. <laughs> Did you guys initially... Are well, you saying you thought it was boring? No, I thought it was smart, actually, because I'm like, initially, I'm like, well, I'm used to action and all this, but yeah. it, it, the story takes you, uh, you need to pay attention to the dialogue, oh, yeah. the importance oh, of yeah. it, and, and just unfolding the story where it takes you. Um, how initially did you approach the script? Because it's obviously based on a novel, but there's a really it feels like a novel itself. Like rarely does a movie feel like a book, but I felt this one felt like a novel you're watching on screen. Tell me your approach to uh, putting it together that way, in a sense, and how did you read it initially? Um, well, I I sort of get what you say, but I didn't think it was it read as a novel when I read it. Hmm. Um, well, there is some sophistication in the dialogue. Oh yeah, yeah, so. absolutely, yeah, yeah, yes, that, that's uh, that's absolutely true. But I, 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 I thought it 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 did read as a film, mm -hmm. and, and and as I've said before, the thing that sort of attracted me to this, mm -hmm. and I thought was really interesting, was actually that quite twisted relationship with um, James and Berenice, mm -hmm. and sort of just finding out what's going on with these two. Yeah. What what are, what is she all about, and what is he, and 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 what are the where are they sort of. That sort of really intrigued me, and I, I, I couldn't wait to get to, to do all those scenes because I thought they were really brilliantly written. So, yeah, no, I mean there is obviously a little sophistication in the dialogues, um, mm -hmm. but I hope it doesn't come across as too literal. At least, I mean, obviously it's. Um, wait till you see the second act. <laughs> I think that's what it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Really pumps it up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, it, uh, it's quite different from the original novel. Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, we set the whole action in Lake Como rather than Florida, where it was, you know, originally. And uh, the, the character of Berenice also has been pumped up a lot. I mean, in the original book, it was very marginal. Mm -hmm. uh, while here, she's very important. You know, the ending really had me kind of waiting for the next scene, and there's nothing there. <laughs> it leaves you with so much... <laughs> Like not only the mystery part, but but so much to interpret. Like what happens to this character? Because usually they 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 don't get away in a sense. But here's like you don't know if he's gonna get away with it or not. Because there's so much open endedness about it. Tell me your approach to the case. What you saw, how the ending kind of ends. You Can know? we talk about no, this? No spoilers. I mean, we're no gonna spoilers. give everything away, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, we can we can do it. We can cover it up a bit. Uh, uh, beep with the beeps. <laughs> there the we beep. go. Yeah. Beep beep. Mm, well. I mean, I can't really say what I think will happen because mm -hmm. that will be giving it away, I think. But I, I t we really worked hard to make that ending as mm. open as possible because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we sort of felt that, I think we talked about that the more open it was, the worse his situation would actually For him, be. For yes. Uh -huh. yes. I mean, because if, if he gets sort of some sort of closure, Right. You and know, it's absolved, it, you know. Yeah, yeah, and that's probably also what we want the audience to leave it with. I mean, your reaction is probably mm -hmm. exactly the right yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Like where you're watching you're like, your back. What's going to happen? No, so, yeah. That character is watching his back for the rest yes, of his life, potentially. But, that, but that's exactly what I think we wanted people to leave the cinema with, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to, to, if we could sort of get that feeling in James into the audience of like having to look over your shoulder forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no absolution. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No I, absolution. I will never think of art critics ever the same after this. <laughs> the second act of the movie, I really didn't see it coming at all. Tell me about the surprise factor of it. This character turns a 180 like that, and you see a whole different side of a man you think that's initially very calm and kind of proper and smart, intelligent, and then you see this rawness and just complete psychotic almost part of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and what do you do in that situation tell me the flip that you guys kind of saw <laughs> at that point where it just like turns itself away uh, well i think we were setting already uh, some clues from the beginning that this guy was not you know completely mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, honest uh, for example the house where he lives is a bit of a ruin, you know, he's trying to patch up the walls and everything, but, you know, uh, so the house is a reflection of his personality, in a way. Um, and then I think, it, you know, it's in the story and in his character, the fact that he's uh, very ambitious, and we know it already from the beginning, and this ambition will take him, you know, very far away. Um, but I think he moves in a very mm -hmm. um, 
organic way. But I think we also sort of agreed that we would not try and and and, and plant too many explanations in the beginning and sort of mm. say, oh, he might be a twisted fucker, this one. Mm -hmm. um, we were sort of just saying, trying to, I mean, just make him as friendly and... and and nice as we mm -hmm. so the surprise is actually bigger when he, when he flips um, instead of you know sort of planting these little oh my god this is going to go so so wrong mm -hmm. I mean they are there I suppose oh, but yeah. I mean I thought I think we actually talked about not doing that sort of psycho where you can sort of see from the beginning that he's twisted but just I mean because that makes him even more twisted, I think. <laughs> I mean, that's the people you should really be... Careful. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. You should be careful, because, I mean, they are sort of the really dangerous ones, where you can't tell this is, this is, this is going to go wrong. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. No, thank you. <laughs>